Alright, so flashing the Xbox 360 VAD 6038 drive. Um, first we're going to have to figure out the power, what we're going to use to power the drive. If you want to plug it into the motherboard like I did, that's fine. Um, you may not be able to take it online, you might get caught and banned, um, but you know, any mod, you're risking that. So first, you know, power issue there. If you're going to do it this way, make sure you've got the uh, video cable plugged in, otherwise your Xbox is going to shut down about halfway through. If you don't want to do it this way, you can always order the CK3 Pro, which allows you to plug the power cable for the DVD drive directly into the CK3, and then in return plug it into your USB port. Once we have power figured out, we want to go ahead and run a SATA cable from the uh, Xbox 360 DVD drive into our motherboard, preferably to the slot one um, of it. So anyways, once we have uh, you know all that figured out, we can go ahead and go to the computer. Let's see if we can get this set up right. There we go. So once we're at the computer, I've already got my um, my stock firmware here and my custom firmware here. But anyways, you'll open up Jungle Flasher. I have placed the iExtreme firmware inside of here. Let me actually bring this down a little bit. So I have placed uh, the iExtreme firmware here in the main folder. Just go ahead, open it up, go to firmware, highlight everything, right click, copy, go to firmware, and right here it'll say place firmware here. Um, just go ahead and, you know, right click and paste, it'll save. And then we're done with that part. The next thing we have to do is get the libusb.dll go ahead copy it, come back to the main um, folder containing the .exe file right here for Jungle Flasher, just come down here and paste and we've got our DLL file and so after that we can go ahead open up Jungle Flasher Alright, so once we have it opened up, since I'm doing a bank drive, um, go ahead and bring this down. Since I'm doing the bank drive, we'll go over to the MTK Flash 32. Now, we'll click on this. This is my hard drive for my computer, disk drive for my computer. Oh, no drive to. Oh, yeah, oops. Give me one second, guys. I should probably turn on the Xbox. That'd probably be our best bet at this point to get this done. So once the Xbox is booted up, it's booted up now, go ahead, launch Jungle Flasher again. And actually, I can just minimize that. Alright, so as I pointed out before, hard drive, it'll be different for you guys too, uh, might be, might not be, um, again, you know, Samsung DVD drive for my computer, and if you look down here, VAD6038, that is the drive we're doing. So if you've gotten this far, that's a good sign. Next step, what we want to do, go ahead and click Bank Unlock, it's going to send the keys to unlock the drive. Okay, and so usually what we would have to do, uh, you know, for the Samsung, um, this also works with some light-ons, usually you use the DVD key. But anyways, um, we don't need to send an intro for and device ID. If you look, we've already got our device ID, it already sent the vendor intro, and we are now in vendor mode. So once we are in vendor mode, we want to go ahead and read. And it'll take a couple minutes. If you get anything other than dots here, there's 64 dots. If you get an X or a Y or something like that, something's not right with your drive. So anyways, here is our original firmware. I don't need to save that. I already have it. Um, so I'll go ahead. I'm going to click No, Open Source Firmware. I want to show you guys what bad firmware looks like. Right there. See the Fs? If you get something like that or filled with zeros or sevens, it's a bad flash. 
So let me go back, we'll open up the source firmware, which I have on the home screen here. Um, now, this is where it comes into play that I asked you guys to place the uh, the LTI Extreme firmware, copy all those files into the firmware folder of Jungle Flasher, because it'll automatically load it for you. Click yes, so that's awesome right there. If you're seeing your DVD key down here and there's not a bunch of F zeros or sevens, you're good. So now what we want to go ahead and do is um, spoof source to target, serial data matches, manual spoofing, come down, click on the VAD6038, click OK. It's been copied to the target now. So now we want to go ahead and save the file. And there's our CFW, our custom firmware. The OFW is the OEM firmware or original firmware. Now as you can see I've already got them both saved so I'm not going to save that. We'll go back over to the flash. Now all you have to do is um, we'll click on write. It, it erases your chip first. Now this is where you know 16 dots per or 16 dots for you know for the four of them here. Well, actually you know 16 times 4, 64. Uh, that's how many dots you want to see. Write verified OK, that's awesome, but we are still in vendor mode. So if you're write verified OK, if you've gotten this far, congratulations. Click on outro slash ATA reset. And it's going to send, um, you know, it's going to drop you out of vendor mode. So we're not in basically Microsoft's, you know, little factory service mode, I guess you could call it. So that's done. Now I want to absolutely, I mean, obviously we've made sure, but I will, you know, I'm a double clicker. I like to absolutely make sure. So now that that is done, guys, the only thing left to do is to uh, test it out with a burned backup game that you've made or, you know, whatever it is you're trying out. Um, other than that, I mean, you know, everything else is self-explanatory. I guess if you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment. Otherwise, if you like the video, click the like button, and uh, you know, don't forget to subscribe. I'm also hopefully going to be doing a uh, the Hitachi GDR3120. Um, I already have my current Xbox 360 Hitachi Drive modded, but I want to do it because the uh, US Mode B is kind of tricky. But other than that, guys, I'm going to stop the video. I hope you liked it. Um, you know, let me know.